Hello friends, welcome to ECG part 3 where we are going to know the normal values and how to calculate the durations of various rails, intervals and segments in ECG just by looking the electrocardiography. So first let's see what are the rails, intervals, segments and complexes in ECG whose durations or timings we are going to calculate. So first coming to waves, we have two waves, P wave and T wave. Because these two are very well differentiated and easy for us to calculate their timings. Whereas the other waves that is Q, R and S, these cannot be differentiated and their timings is calculated as a complex. So here we have one complex that is a QRS complex. Sometimes it is also mentioned as a QRS interval. Coming to intervals, we have three intervals, PR interval, QT interval and RR interval. And segments. PR segment and ST segment. Here I want to give you a clear difference between interval and segment in ECG. Electrocardiographic segment or simply to say a segment is a straight line which means where there is no electrical activity otherwise called as isoelectrical line which connects the two waves. Example, the ST segment is a straight line where there is no electrical activity and it is connecting two waves, the S wave and T wave. ECG interval is a portion of ECG which include a segment and one or more waves. Example, PR interval. It includes a wave, P wave and a segment. I hope now you are clear with the difference between what's an interval and what's an segment in ECG. So, before actual calculation begins, let's learn some basics about electrocardiograph. What you see here is the electrocardiograph and the activity of one cardiac cycle. Here we have big squares and in each big square we have 5 small squares. Let's focus on one of the big square. I think you can clearly see it here. So, it's a big square and it has 5 small squares in it. So, the measurement of each big square is 5 millimeters. So each small square measures 1 millimeter. And on x axis, we have time in seconds, and in y axis, we have amplitude in millivolts. And when this graph is put on an ECG machine, it moves with a speed of 25 millimeters per second. So, if it's moving 25 millimeters per second, what's the duration it's taking to move for 5 millimeters? Otherwise, what's the time taken to move for 1 big square? So, we cross multiply and get the timings for 1 big square is 0 0.2 seconds. So, to get the timing for 1 small square, we divide it by 5 as we have 5 small squares and get the duration of each small square as 0 0.04 seconds. So finally, we got the duration of 1 big square and 1 small square. So the big square takes about 0 0.2 seconds and small square duration is 0 0.04 seconds. Now let's see what's the normal duration in a normal healthy person and let us correlate these timings with the conducting activity of heart. First coming to P wave. P wave takes two and a half small squares. We know that each of the small square is equal to 0 0.04 seconds. So one small square plus one small square plus half square that is 0 0.04 seconds plus 0 0.04 seconds plus 0 0.02 seconds which is equal to 0 0.1 second. It is also equal to half of the big square. That means the HL depolarization in a normal healthy individual takes place for about 0 0.1 seconds. After that we have PR segment which is also spread over two and a half small squares. So it is also 0 0.1 seconds of duration. That is, current was held in AV node for 0 0.1 second. Now the PR interval which includes the P wave and PR segment. So 0 0.1 second plus 0 0.1 second that is equal to 0 0.2 seconds which is nothing but one complete big square. Which comes the QRS complex which is again drawn on the two and a half small squares. So the duration of QRS complex is 0 0.1 seconds as we have already calculated the time for two and a half seconds. So, the electrical activity from next comes the ST segment. 
which connects the S wave and the T waves and its normal duration varies from 0.08 seconds to 0.1 second that is half of the big square at its maximum. Now we have the T wave here whose normal duration varies from 0.12 seconds to 0.2 seconds that is one big square at its maximum. So we have completed everything except the RR interval as the RR interval needs the electrical activity of two cardiac cycles as we have right here. So RR interval is the time between two R waves and the normal duration varies from 0.6 to 1 seconds that is it varies from 3 to 5 full big squares. An interesting fact of our interval is that we can calculate the heartbeat by counting the number of small squares between 2 R and R waves. That's the end of today's video and let's have a very quick revision of it. The duration of P wave is 0.1 seconds, PR segment is 0.1 second and PR interval is 0.2 seconds, QR S complex is 0.1 seconds, QT interval is 0.4 seconds to 0.44 seconds, ST segment it is 0.08 to 0.1 seconds, P wave it is 0.1 to 0.2 seconds and, and lastly our own interval it is from 0.6 seconds to 1 second. And the formula to know the knowing the normal values of all these intervals, segments etc. helps us to know the pathological abnormalities in ECT or the electrical activity of the heart as soon as you look at an electrocardiography. So that's it for today. In the next part, we will be looking at the various leads and the most important topic that is cardiac access.